Hi there and welcome to Shiko's YouTube channel. In this video I'll show you how to automatically convert Google Sheets to PDF. We all know Google Sheets for its amazing sharing and collaborative capabilities. But when we want to share specific data with specific people, sharing an entire spreadsheet isn't the most effective solution. The easiest and safest way to share data is via PDF format. Shigo offers a way to convert your Google Sheets data into PDF automatically, not only saving you time, but also increasing productivity across your entire organization. Let's say I work in the HR department and our company is taking on several new interns. These interns will be working within various departments across the entire organization. I have a Google Sheets file right here containing all of their personal information and internship details. I want to create a contract for each individual and send it as PDF to share with the new interns. I can't just share the entire spreadsheet file because it contains personal information and it also won't provide the correct format for the contracts. So I need to find a way to transfer each row of individual data, format this correctly, turn it into a PDF and then share it with the corresponding intern. Luckily with the Shigo app I can achieve this and more, completely automatically. Let me go to Shigo and show you how it works. Right now I'm inside my Shigo workspace where you can see all of my workflows and where you can create new. To sign up for Shigo simply click the link that I'll put in the video description below. It will take you to this screen in our Shigo web application and here we're going to simply start by clicking new workflow. We enter our explore page where you can search for any of our solutions, features or connections. But we're going to start from scratch, so let me click on create connection right here. As you see, Shigo created an untitled workflow that we can rename later on. The first step when creating this workflow is of course that you want to select your source file, so where does the data come from? And as I've shown before, it needs to come from our intern information spreadsheet. So I'm going to select single file and search it here in my drive. Here we go. Shigo has loaded the tabs. If you have multiple, you select the correct one, but we only have one. So we can move on to the next step. In this case, there's no need to filter the data. We're gonna move on and we need to generate this information into PDF. But as I've shown you in the spreadsheet, this information is not exactly inside a contract format. So I would want to create an internship agreement between these people. So instead of directly sharing this data with them, I have created a Google Docs template, as you can see right here in Google Docs. In my example, I simply have created this Google Doc that has all of the foundational content of the main contract text, as well as these smart tags right here that you see between those, these brackets. So this is a template that Shigo will automatically generate per row in the spreadsheet. You can see that all of these smart tags are column names in our spreadsheet. Let me go back. First name, last name, date of birth, and so on. So make sure you have this document ready and then we can continue by selecting generate documents in our web app. We have our template file already created, the internship agreement. So let me again search for it in our drive. There we go. And you can give this document a name, Shigo Internship Agreement, for example. Next step is you can choose where Shigo should save these files in your drive. So if you want Shigo to add it to an existing folder that you already have about your interns, or you can let them create a new. So let's say internship contracts. By default, this setting is on. So this means that whenever Shigo has created a contract, it will mention that in a new column added to the spreadsheet. We can click next right now. And here is where we also want to save these assets as PDF. Again, you can already move on to the next step and directly share via Gmail if you want, or you can skip all of this and click finish and save. But I want to create the complete workflow and I'm going to save the Google Docs contract as PDF so I can easily share them with my interns. So let's click here. Again, you choose where Shigo should save these PDFs. So it could be Shigo contracts again. We click next and optionally you can already have Shigo send these PDFs directly to your interns once the contracts are created. 
There are two sending methods right here in our Gmail section. We can share files and send access links. So that would mean that Shigo will share the Google Docs, send direct access link as an editor or viewer to our interns. But this is not the format, format that we want to share with. We want to add the files as attachment. I simply want to send an email to my interns. Here's your contract, please sign. Now, move on, moving on to where, to whom these emails should be sent, you can choose to select custom recipients and type in the emails right here, but that would more be a bulk email and not very personal. So we want to get the emails dynamically from a column. And of course we have their email in column D. So that means that Shigo will simply send their personal contracts to their personal emails and nothing more. Here in the subject, again, you can use our smart tag. So I just shared file name with you using Shigo, but you can add many more as you can see right here. For example, for the period of, and then you add internship period in the department, for example. That's it, we're done editing right now. So I will give you an overview. From this Google Sheets file, we have used a Google Docs template to generate a contract in PDF and then share it automatically with our interns. Let me click finish and save to finalize this workflow. There we go, here we see the workflow overview. So we have our intern information in the spreadsheet. We generate PDFs based on a Google Docs template and we even send it directly to our interns as well. Let me go here into the workflow overview where you can rename, for example, internship contracts. You see who of your team has access to this workflow and the files in it and you can share it with more team members. How many files and connections this workflow has and also the update schedule so as you can see our schedule is disabled but imagine that you have new interns coming in every month so then you need new contracts made so then we can schedule these settings to run automatically once a month for example on day one between let's say 8 and 9 a.m and in this time zone then you click on save and the workflow will run automatically for you that's it. That's how to automatically generate PDF files from Google Sheets with Shigo. As you can tell, there are plenty of more possibilities with this tool. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it. Thank you so much for watching.